If you get geeked over networking the way that I do, then today's video is for you. I'm JB, this is Cyber Insight, and today I'm going to be giving you a behind the scenes look at my exclusive trip to the heart of networking innovation at Juniper headquarters in Sunnyvale, California. But first, before we jump into that, go ahead, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications. I am by no means a morning person, so getting up to have to be at the airport by six o'clock for a flight from DC to San Francisco is a little bit rough. But when you have the chance to go visit one of your favorite tech companies, you gotta take it. I knew it was gonna be a good trip when I saw that I was gonna have all this extra space. Plane was getting ready to take off, ready for a five hour flight. It was pretty uh, wild, but I did try my best to make sure that I was able to do a little bit of reading and some prep for meetings with some folks out at Juniper. And I also took the opportunity to get a little bit of work done. No complaints with the room whatsoever. Awesome room, great location, plenty of great restaurants within walking distance. As you can see, I definitely went and took advantage of that, got some Mexican food as soon as I could. Spent some time getting prepped for meetings the next day, but did get a chance to get over to Murphy Avenue. I ended up finding a Burmese spot, which is some of my favorite food. Very hard to find, but when you can, you gotta take advantage of it. Rolled out of bed early, had a really big day planned. Took a Uber over to Juniper headquarters. Absolutely beautiful campus. Now the first meeting that I had set up for the day was gonna be visiting their POC lab or proof of concepts lab. This is one of the coolest things that I've ever seen. It's a gigantic lab that whenever Juniper has any large customers that are trying to figure out whether or not they want to move forward with purchases and integrations of different types of services, they're able to work with their sales team to actually do proofs of concepts within this lab. This could involve demoing new hardware, software, or appliances from Juniper, showing unique configurations to meet customer specific use cases, and even bringing in different hardware or software from outside vendors to show the interoperability between that and Juniper products. Now just walking up and down these aisles, I was seeing a whole bunch of hardware that I was very familiar with over the course of my entire networking career see a whole bunch of large MX series routers. We see very, very large SRX firewalls, EX switches, QFX switches. The entire lab is broken up into different logical pods and is using Appster to be able to do data center fabric management and automation of different types of software components. The whole lab was really cool because I was able to see some equipment, both from a, a Juniper and from other vendors. They had some Cisco devices there that I probably hadn't seen in, in 10 or 15 years. So it was really awesome to see kind of this collection of things. It was almost like a museum. But the flip side of that was they also had some devices that haven't even been released yet. And I actually can't even talk about what those are uh, for NDA reasons, but there were some devices there with capacity that I'd never seen in my life before. So it was really, really awesome to get a chance to kind of poke around and see some of those things. Now, I don't know if you'll know what these things are, but if you are into testing networks, especially through very, very high bandwidth, both Breaking Point and Spirant are two of the more well-known options out there. Although I think Breaking Point at this point uh, has been procured by Ixia. All in all, I ended up spending probably about an hour back in there. The manager in there, Mark, was super awesome. I mean, he was excited about all the stuff in there about as much as I was. So it was really cool to kind of geek out with someone, especially talking about the, the differences uh, in development of a lot of these different products, uh, both from the, the switching side, the router side, firewall side, and even the server infrastructure and tools underneath that that's used to, to manage environments like this. It was just totally awesome. And if you ever do get the chance to uh, be out at Juniper headquarters, I highly recommend you try to find somebody who would be able to give you a tour in there and you'll have as much fun as I did. After the POC lab, I ended up going over to their video production studio. At this point, I can't really tell you what exactly I was doing in there, but it was the main point of my trip out to Juniper headquarters. So 
in the very near future, I will be having uh, something very cool to share with you, something that I think that you will uh, find very entertaining and useful. So just keep your eye out for that. And uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll just leave it at that for now. Next up was lunch in the Juniper Cafeteria. I ended up hacking their menu. They have a Juniper burger, which is awesome, but I made it into a double, highly recommend it. The rest of the day, I got to have some meetings with some of the PMs in charge of some of my favorite Juniper products, some of the SRXs, SSRs, and even got to meet with one of the lead marketing folks in their educational and certification department. This was such an amazing trip and I'm so thankful to Juniper for having me out. We got to work on something very, very cool together. So keep your eyes peeled for that when that comes out. But again, just so thankful for them having me out and I got to meet a lot of great folks out there. I hope you enjoyed this behind the scenes look. I know I couldn't tell you too much about exactly what I was doing out there, but keep your eye out. You're going to see some cool stuff coming out maybe over the next month or so. As always, I appreciate you dropping by the channel. Hope you enjoyed the video. Go ahead, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, all that other good stuff. Go get at it and we'll talk soon.